Hi guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Today we're back in the Greenside Bunker series. I'm going to talk about the Leafwood Low Lie. I would say excluding the plug lie, this is the most difficult lie you can get in the bunker. So having said that, I'm going to show you how to get it close to the flag like that. We're playing golf at Sand Canyon Country Club. So when the lead foot is low, the most common fault I see with amateur golfers is to either catch the top of the golf ball, scull it into the bank and never get out of the bunker. Even if you get out of it, then now it's flying too far over the green. Or sometimes you could catch this high ground before the ball hit it fat or catch the ground first and then catch the top of the ball and scull it into the bank again. So today I have to really get you to get that consistent contact going into the golf ball. It's all in the setup and then a couple of things you have to be careful during the swing. Let's go. All right, so in the setup, very similar to normal bunker setup, wide stance, open stance, weight on the left. I would put about 10% extra weight in the left foot, so about 70%, and then you're gonna maintain that in the back swing. This anchorage right here is gonna give you consistent down below attack of angle into this, your desired spot about a ball behind that golf ball. That way you, you can avoid hitting behind the ground first. Um, so this pressure on the left 70% and keeping it in the back swing is very important. Club face is open and then one more thing you have to pay attention is the shoulders. On this lie, this is the only lie where you wanna match your shoulders to the ground. If you are set up this way, it's so easy to hit that high ground before the ball first. So we're gonna go ahead and match it up parallel to the ground so that way you have steeper angle going into the golf ball and we really need that on a lie like this. Ball position should be right of the middle. If the uh, slope is severe, it'll move farther back. Same thing on the fairway. If the left lead foot is low, we tend to put the ball back in the stance because you will most likely catch you know, behind. That's why we put the ball back so you have higher chances of getting it in a steeper downward angle. But I would say here, a ball right of the middle for this slope right here. All right, now that was for the setup. Now for the actual swing, we have to remember to scoop through. Even if you do the setup correct and you just do a normal bunker shot, because of the slope like this, well, the ball's gonna shoot out a lot lower because of the slope. Now, if it shoots out low, most likely it's gonna get caught in the bank, never get out of the bunker. Even if it barely clears the bank, it's gonna roll out a lot because of this downhill slope. So we're gonna have to scoop to add loft so it goes higher and put a little extra backspin on it. Scooping is something like this. You can try it right now. Your palm, let's say, is the same degree angle, same loft as your club face. Now, when you hit a normal shot, it's boom, maintains the same angle. But now when you're scooping, you know, we compare it to scooping like ice cream, like your hand rotates under this way to add loft this way. This is scooping. Now, when I start teaching scooping to amateurs, the most common fault I see is they concentrate so much on the hand action, so their body freezes so much. Now, you have to make sure your body keeps turning through as you scoop. Otherwise, when you just do your, use your hands, you're most likely going to hit thin and fat shots. So you must keep turning and you must scoop through. Let's watch. Wide stance, weight on the left, ball position back shoulders match to the ground and then scoop through and don't stop turning. Like that. And once it lands, you have to remember it'll run out a lot. So even though you're scooping and you're putting backspin on it, you still have to pick your landing spot to be a lot closer to you, allowing for the extra run to happen. So next time you are in this Lead foot low lie. Just remember the couple of pointers I gave you. Weight on the left 70%, keep it there. Match the shoulders to the ground, ball push and moves back. Make sure to do two things in the swing. You keep turning through and scoop. Make sure to take a note and practice those so that way you're able to get it out of the bunker and you'll surprise a lot of your playing partners because when you're in a lie like this, they're gonna be like, oh, that's like a double bogey. And you get it close, they're going to be surprised and you'll be winning that hole, right? Let me know how it goes. Thank you guys for golfing with me. We'll see you in the next one. Mwah.